to get through the next couple of hours. Yeah, exactly. We are on the way to greatness with a beautiful stretch of weather in store, but it's going to be a rough go. We are dealing with this line of severe thunderstorms and currently working itself into Center City, Philadelphia. The rain is starting to come down. We're seeing those flashes of lightning and hearing those rumbles of thunder, and you can see that as we get a live look at Center City, Philadelphia. Right now, conditions deteriorating as this line of severe thunderstorms continues to work its way eastbound and now is moving into the heart of Center City. We have this huge severe thunderstorm warning in effect for a large portion of the area does include Philadelphia and really all immediate suburbs. It runs until midnight tonight for the potential of 60 mile per hour winds and also quarter sized hail. And we're also dealing with torrential rainfall and nearly continuous lightning. I've taken the lightning off in this view just to give you a better look at some of these towns where we're seeing some of this action going through right now, moving off to the east at about 40 to 50 miles per hour. So starting to move into the Ben Salem area, heads up in the Glenside area, heavy rain just starting to exit the Norristown area, Philadelphia. Our rainfall intensity is only going to increase pouring right now in Upper Darby down into Ridley down into Chester. We're going to see inclement conditions taking over at the airport could cause some delays. Also, this line now crossing over the river into working into parts of South Jersey right now into portions of Gloucester County and also Salem County. You're next just had a wind damage report out of the Wilmington area when this portion of the line came through with some large tree branches down. So gusty winds embedded within this cell moving into the Woolwich area and you can see this line is continuing continuing to move off to the east at about 40 to 50 miles per hour. So we'll have to watch out in South Jersey as we head into about the next 30 to 45 minutes. It does have a history of producing a lot of storm reports in Lehigh County, a lightning strike inducing a house fire, 50 mile per hour wind gusts and penny size hail in Kutztown, also trees down in other portions of Berks County. We had several other reports of lightning strikes in Berks County hitting homes over an inch and a half of rainfall in Gilbertsville, Montgomery County in nearly 30 minutes time. And and then another home struck by lightning in Shoemakersville, Berks County. So this is a strong, very potent line of storms that will continue to work its way east as we get into the 1, 2 o'clock hour. Still could see some of the storm activity lingering around. And then as it tries to move into South Jersey and our shore points, it is going to continue to weaken throughout the overnight period. Late tonight, early tomorrow morning, maybe a few lingering showers, but otherwise the things quieting on down. And we will have a dry first half of our Wednesday in store with clearing sky in store as we head into tomorrow afternoon. But for the next couple of hours, it's scattered showers and thunderstorms. The low temperature falling back to 74 degrees and big time improvement for our Wednesday. That chance of an early morning shower, then turning over to sunshine, lower humidity and a cooler high temperature at 84 degrees. And all is quiet right now in Rehoboth Beach. You wouldn't even know severe weather was impacting parts of Delaware with people still out on the boards. But we are seeing that line particularly impacting northern parts of Delaware. But once this line clears through, we are good to go as we head into Wednesday. Humidity levels dropping off to the not bad, even pleasant category by late day, feeling awesome by Friday humidity wise and check out this beautiful stretch of weather taking over by Thursday sunshine, low humidity 82, a gorgeous day on Friday. Check out that up coming weekend. Yeah, make those outdoor plans, head into the mountains, heading down the shore. Brunch plan, 79 degrees, sunshine on Sunday. That is some serious brunch weather. It